Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to the Econobox Garage. Come on in. Well, next up is installing the seats, uh, but first I have to get the covers on them. So here are the main components. Here's the seat back, uh, the seat base, and the seat frame. Now this is the one for the right-hand side or passenger side of the car. These seat frames have been given a fresh coat of paint. The first thing I've done is I've cleaned up the threads on these studs on either side uh, with a tap, and so that they're good to go for installing the seat back. That's where it mounts on these two studs here. So in order to install this seat frame in the car, I need to install the tracks and that means putting more holes in the carpet. So I'm going to use a similar method to what I used when I put the holes in for the seat belts. Three of the bolts go into a captive nut on the underside of the floor and then this, there's a stud on the rail here uh, that goes through uh, a hole and gets bolted in from underneath. So to locate the holes I do the same thing I did when I got the did the seat belts is I'll just use an awl and poke up from underneath as close to the center of the hole as possible and then go from there. There you can see the awl coming up through the one hole. Uh, now what I'm going to do is from this side is I'm just going to push a nail through that same hole. And I know that nail is very close to the center of the hole. So what I'm going to do next... Well, it turns out I'm going to have to make a slight change of plans here. When I did the first trial fit of the seat bases and the seats in the car in episode 55, um, and I'll put a link to that video up in the top corner for you to go check out, I forgot to allow for the thickness of the carpet and the under pad. So for the three bolts that go into the captive nuts, so that one, that one, and the one that'll go over here, I can just go to a longer bolt. I'm going to have to cut this stud off and go with a, just a, a long bolt to be able to get that into place. And also because of the thickness of the material in through here, I'm going to modify the wooden slat that goes underneath it just to relieve the inside edge of it so it fits better over the carpet. Uh, I've cut the stud off the track and I put a 45 degree relief in the side of the space or the wooden spacer so that will go into that a little angle there a lot better. So now I'll just uh, get these holes done and uh, get the seat base in. Well with a bit of fettling I've got the I do have the right hand side or passenger side seat base into place on the tracks so it does slide back and forth as it should and there's the latch uh, for that one so i'll just repeat the process for the other side so there we go i've got both of the seat frames installed in the car and they're both working quite nicely now i can get on to installing the seat covers this edge is kind of sharp on here and on the first seat, there wasn't anything over that edge. But if we go to the second one, you'll see that there's actually the remnants of a little bit of a, a trim on that edge to soften it. So I'm going to have to find something to replace that. And uh, again, to make a, a nice smooth edge for the upholstery to wrap around. So what I decided to do is use some heavy material I had on hand to soften that edge. So here's the first little piece I've cut. Uh, to go along there um, and I'll just use contact cement to glue that on so I cut all the little triangles in there so it'll fold over nicely without any wrinkles. I have the material glued on the edge here and that's uh, done exactly what I wanted to do to soften that edge up. Now there's a couple of parts um, on the seat back here that we'll have a look at. Uh, first is the foam that goes over, I'll call, I'm going to call these the ears um, of the seat and there's 
the outer layer and then this thicker part here that goes on the outside of the ear so that just goes over top like that basically and then I'll you know fold things over and probably just put a bit of contact spent or spray cement to hold that in place and then that gets covered uh, by this sleeve or sock or whatever you want to call it uh, it slides over top and then that gets anchored and I'm just gonna pop this off here on these spikes um, along here so I'll pull that on stretch it into place poke it through the spikes and then those will get bent down and that'll hold uh, those covers in place uh, for that part and once those are in and then we can put the, the rest of the cover on so one thing I learned from watching Home Built by Jeff, and I'll put a link to his uh, channel below, is that when you're putting uh, your material over foam and what have you, uh, one trick to try is using a silicone spray, and I just happen to have some in the shop. So I'm going to give that a try and see if it'll help uh, with putting this on. That worked like a charm. Now I can pull this down, pull that up, and then poke it over those pins that I showed you a bit earlier. And there's the first piece of upholstery on. Well, I'm quite happy with how that's turned out. And you can see down here those uh, pins are just holding everything into place. So I'm going to repeat that process on the other side. Now that I have the two legs or ears of the seat back done, I'm going to put uh, start work on putting the main foam in. Now, initially, Originally, uh, this piece of foam was actually bonded to this one and this went down the back and it kind of softened the edge around here and held this foam in place. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to patch some of this heavy, fairly substantial felt. I'm going to glue it, I'm going to make some panels go all the way around here. I'm going to glue it to the cushion itself and glue it to the metal on the seat back and then I'll just put a piece in here so there's no actual join visible here. So I have some, some of the felt glued on the back and I've just got it there to try and even things out as much as possible and basically below this line there's actually a section of carpet sewn into the seat cover so I'm not too worried um, about down here. Now on the other side, flip that over uh, you can see I've got the felt coming all the way around here and then I'm just going to glue a piece on each of the bolsters here. This line doesn't telegraph through the, um, the cover. Now I've got all the felt um, around the outside of the bolster here. I'm quite happy with that. So next up is to fit the cover itself. Now based on what I'm seeing here on the original cushion, it looks like the center panel was actually glued in. Um, across here, so I'm going to do that as well, being very careful to make sure um, everything's lined up with the center line, uh, particularly down at this end here, because that's where it's going to meet the, the seat base as well. While I, the cover's off, uh, I can show you how the cover's secured. There's um, just underneath the cushion here, there's a metal lip, and the front uh, part of the cover will come down over that and then the clips that I showed you a bit earlier will push onto there and then the piece coming around the back 
will fold over this bottom lip and then that'll get clipped on onto that one. Okay, so I have contact cement around the perimeter of uh, this area here. It's just getting nice and tacky. And I've got the same on the inside of the seat cover itself. And what I'm going to do, I'll have to turn this back the right side out. So just to help me so it doesn't stick right away, I'm just going to put a piece of parchment paper in here. Uh, so that way the, the contact cement doesn't meet and stick while I'm just kind of juggling things into position. And then I'll reach in and just slide this out. This isn't going to stick to the, paper, the contact cement at all. So now I'm going to go about and then stretch this down, uh, start connecting this front panel, and that will go to the lip right here. And then the back panel will clip onto this lip here. So now I'm ready to mount the seat back to the seat base. And then there's two studs, one on either side. And to mount these up, there are two plastic washers. One goes between um, here right away. And then I've cut the holes. I used the awl to mark the hole and cut those with a very sharp utility knife. And so now I'll put those on, put the other plastic washer on, and then put the uh, Nylox nut to hold it into place. And there we have the seat back installed in the car and with some uh, like I said with some heat and some use I'm pretty sure you will be able to get these wrinkles out and uh, yeah fairly happy with how that's turned out so now I'm ready to get going on the seat base so I have uh, glued the foam back around the edges here and any little gaps uh, so that foam is quite there I'm happy with that I'm just going to run with it on the original foam, you can see where there was some adhesive around the perimeter of the center section. So what I, I'm going to do as I'm going to initially, I'm just going to glue up the front part to get that into place, and then I'll work down the sides uh, towards the back, and then I'll work on stretching the vinyl over the frame and the seat base itself. So I'll get this glued in, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I have the glues had time to set up and get tacky, so now I'm going to get this front edge uh, glued in. So I'm going to make sure I line up my center marks. There's one here and then one on the foam. So I'll get that lined up there, and I'm going to tuck this right down inside that groove there. All right, so I think I've got that into the position I want it. Things kind of nice and tight down there. Now everything's still lined up nice and central. So I think that's, we'll let that sit for a while and then we'll come back and get the two sides all uh, glued in all the way down there.
So here's what it looks like from the top side with this uh, front edge glued into this slot in the cushion itself or in the foam. Uh, so now I'm going to do the same with the sides. Uh, so it'll glue into this area in here. And when that's done, then I can start tightening up the cover and securing it to the seat base. I'm going to do this one side at a time here. Make sure I get that seam right in the bottom of the Other seams are in their slots in here. Uh, so I'm going to leave that for now and we'll come back to that in, uh, in a while after that's all set up. Well, I'm very happy with how the center section has turned out on this seat. Um, I haven't got anything um, attached on the back here yet to tighten it up, but I do have the first clip right there on the front and that's tightened up quite nicely and I'm really liking how this is looking. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start putting clips in um, in other spots so I should be able to stretch this little wrinkle out here and if not I'll just uh, get in there with the heat gun a little bit later and uh, just uh, ease that out of there but uh, yeah this is going a lot better than I thought it might I am very happy with how this uh, seat cover has turned out. Um, I am going to order a bunch more of these clips. Uh, just seems that there aren't enough uh, to do this properly and I want to be able to do the... So I'm going to do the other seat with the other 25 that I uh, put aside but I think I'll order a bunch more and so I can put some more clips in the intermediate spots around here. Uh, they need to put another one or two. I need to put another one or two in this corner. But all in all, um, I'm very happy. Um, I'm not going to trim this excess off just yet, just in case I have to change things up. Uh, but I can still put it in the car, and uh, yeah, but I can still put it in the car like that. And I'm going to call that um, a success. So now that I have this seat base done and the seat back done. I'll just repeat the whole process for the other seat. But that's all we have time for for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to share it with your friends. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget that little bell icon. Click on that and you get notified when the next video comes out. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who supported the channel, either by subscribing, hitting the like button, commenting, uh, sharing information, picking up merchandise such as this t-shirt, and by hitting that super thanks button. If you'd like to get a hold of me directly, you can do so at the email address. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen, and that's also in the description below. My name is Ian. This is the Econobox Garage. We'll see you next time.